What is going on, folks, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Unknown Factions, and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim. And today, I will be showing y'all the list of mini games that we have constructed on our community server. Now, the Unknown server is free to play for everyone who wants to join. And today, you shall be seeing the Dartboard, King of the Hill, Capture the Flag, and of course, the beautiful arena that has been built around the starter area. But first, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing and smashing that like button because I am always cranking out awesome Valheim content. Now two of these mini games that you're going to see in today's video will not be in the event this weekend but they will be in a future event so I might as well just go ahead and debut them to you now. So for starters I have this beautiful dartboard here at the archery range that I have assembled on this little diamond and you see we just have our three rings and the center with a certain core. So I just went around and I flattened a nice little patch to make our archery range and then I built a little diamond on a single post right here at the very back of this. And then just placing horizontal, I mean vertical, sorry, <laughs> item stands starting from the center and then making rings all the way around, which is pretty easy to do if you just kind of watch as you go. And then when you, when you hang item trophy items on it, you're going to be able to really tell you know where you need to move them to so I always just kind of throw down a ring real fast and then slap trophies on it and you can see which ones need to be sucked in or pulled out you know so if you don't have if you haven't had much experience making shapes with item stands this is a good one to start with because it's fairly easy to do and of course the rancid trophies would be a lot harder to get if you had to go collect them and of course I spawned them in but there you have it our beautiful little dartboard now the way this is gonna work is the skeleton skulls are gonna be five the rancids ten Great Dwarfs 15, and if you hit the Sertlin, it's going to be 50 points. Now, this may seem a little easy, but from the distance, and you're only allowed to use a crude bow and three needle, arrow, three needle arrows for sight to be able to see. So, it's a lot harder than it looks. It takes a lot of shots to get, like, on point with that crude bow, unless you're, like, just legless or something, you know. But as you can tell, so I got Hilda here to do a little test run with me, and me and her match went three rounds and ended in sudden deathmatch twice because it was surprising that we tied three times in a row you know and none of us hit bullseye so it is a hard it's cheap right here this is her second shot she got a nice tight cluster she scared me <laughs> scared me really bad because i was like oh man i'm gonna have to uh, step my game up but i think this was the best round right here the hilda shot the tightest cluster out of all the rounds and you know you gotta watch your stamina. I gotta put some chests over here with some bread. But this was gonna be one of the mini games, of course. You know, so three shots around. First person to 100 points wins the game. And moving on to the beautiful Colosseum built around the starter area that Hilda and Narwhal have been working together on. Now I recently put the plant everything mod on, so I could go around and just start planting stuff seamlessly. You know, you don't have to worry about spawning and that kind of stuff. It's just hard to get up accurate placement but that's all i did here was i went around and just spawned some meteorites and some obsidian and rocks and ships and whatnot just to give some obstacles and then of course i built a nice welcome sign because this is the starter area and we have to have some identification to where people need to go so welcome to hell or valheim or whatever something clever we're going to stick up on there but as you can see the arena for the duels and waves of enemies which we were doing the other night which I'm not gonna lie, I had so much fun spawning stuff in. We spawned in like 300 skeletons, 600 necks. I mean, as you can see, there's just bones and <laughs> heads flying everywhere. It was a lot of fun. You know, so we're gonna save this for wave challenges, event challenges, and of course, just fooling around. Like, I spawned in a level 10 wolf, and he's like, snap your head off in one bite. <laughs> But moving on to the next event, which will be featured this weekend, is the King of the Hill Pyramid. Now, as you can see, we have it floating in the middle of the water, surrounded by sea serpents who have been just hovering over their spawn points, thank God, because I kind of want them there for when people get kicked off into the water. You're going to have to be fast to be able to find a spot to jump up, and I did not make it easy to get back up there. So, suffer being uh, serpent food or find a way up there very fast. <laughs> Just making it a little more challenging. Now you're going to drop in from the observatory prep room up here where we have the rules, the spawn points, the food, the armor, everything. So people are going to bring fresh characters here. You can rest up in the hut, get the food you need and the leather armor, clubs, and shields, and then go down there and see who's going to be number one. Boom. And the rules are simple, and there's one or two doors, so you can spawn on the left side, the right side, 
you know, it's the equal distance both ways. You know, I'm sure people are going to want to go around, you know, other people. So some people might just want to go with them and kick them off before they get there. You know, so I'm really interested to see how this is going to play out on event night. It ought to be a lot of fun. And obviously we have these bleachers right here for all the losers and everybody who dies first. I mean, not to say losers, sorry. You know, everybody's a winner here on the unknown server. <laughs> but, you know, as you can see, you can observe from right here nice and watch the chaos and the mayhem and see people hopefully getting eaten by serpents. You know, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So, we're just going to go up top and we're going to choose door one or door two. I'm going to give you a quick rundown and show you how far away it's going to be, you know, in actual size. So, we're going to go through door two over here and come on down to the battlefield. The rules are simple. You just bring fresh character and use the stuff we give you. And that's it. Last man standing wins. So, we come in, open up the shutters, drop to the floor. You will take less damage if you go through that little hole right there because it's raised up. So, you know, if you jump over it, you're going to take more damage. And then, of course, making this stamina intensive to get up here. That way people will, well, you know, you're going to have to time it right because you jump up all the way to the top and burn up your stamina. Then you're not going to be able to fight. So that is also on purpose with the no stairs. And this little Chichen Itza style pyramid that's kind of steep will make it very easy for you to, you know, punt people off the top and send them into the drink, you know. But also, thinking about it, you know, I was standing down here earlier seeing if I was close enough for these serpents to attack. I feel like they're so close, I feel like you could get attacked from right here. You know, as you see, he's just kind of dragging his scaly body over the top, so creepy. And creepy and clippy at the same time, how strange. But as you can see, they're right up on your face right here. You know, I did spawn them right over the side, and they've just been hovering right around this base, which I really do like. Makes it way more intense <laughs> but moving on to the last showcase of the evening we have the capture the flag course or capture the shield however you want to call it at hillside now this is the corgi course originally constructed by apoc he did all the raised ground and the bridge in the center i just came in and built these two identical towers at either end the blue team the raven team and the red team the wolf team now both have flags on the top with two shields mounted well sorry one shield on each post. Now the whole objective is to capture the other team's shield and bring it back and hang it on your post. First team to do such wins. Now you're going to bring fresh characters into this game so everybody's on an equal playing field and pick your spawn point. There's eight beds in either one so this is a 16 player match and well maximum 16 players. So and everybody has equal comfort level. Now I added the same amount of rugs, tables, flags, everything in each so nobody has an advantage there. And of course, the cooking stuff is just a little more for cosmetic and the fire and whatnot because there will be pre made food, of course, and all the weapons from bows, arrows, spears, ooze bombs. I might even stash, like, hang a sledgehammer in the center of the map. You know, first one to get it, then you'll have it. And I'll put materials for wards and portals in here so you can build and be leave people to their own devices to get through and conquer the other team so i think this is going to be a lot of fun i'm really excited for it to see what people do with it giving everybody the the materials they need to be able to build proper defenses like you're going to want to set up a ward right off the beginning to keep them from just running in your back door and destroying your beds you know so you're going to have to find ways to get in get try to get through the walls while they're defending their base so i think this is going to be a lot of fun so coming back up to the top we have another observation deck entryway where we come in from the portal hub and it just has a small rule board up here since we don't need to rest or anything this is just kind of for the area for the teams to split off from and once they leave i will destroy the portals behind them so you'll go in and you will have no return until the game is over and since this is a team event and we i will be keeping track of all the points of the first second and third place you know so this is obviously just first and second place like the team that wins is going to split all the points across all the members so everybody will get like five points and then for the single player events first place will get 10 points second place gets eight third place gets fifth and so on and so forth i mean five excuse me but and then at the end of all of the events i shall deem a victor and they will get the mystery norse prize which i'm not going to tell you what it is but it is a physical prize that ships to the winner's address so just be aware of that and for everybody that wants to join check out the gilded in the description below and come on in like i said before this is the free public server but before i forget of course i did not show you guys manhunt island or the locks 
Grand Prix racetrack because they both are still under construction, but Manhunt, Manhunt Island shall be ready for this weekend's event. And lastly, YouTube memberships did just drop, so if you did want to show your support to the channel, check it out down below. They're super cheap, 99 cents, 3 bucks, 10 dollars, and the perks are ranging from shoutouts to build files and discounted merch because I did order some shirts. I know I'm way ahead of myself, but I did it anyways. <laughs> now, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. Both are greatly appreciated and I will catch you folks in the next one.